Hello friends, welcome back. This is Angular Developer Series, episode 11, and uh, we are building e-commerce web application. And in this video, I would like to show you how we can deploy our web API to the Azure Web App using identity principle. This is not a regular video that we saw in one of my videos in the channel. This video will tell you what Microsoft has done with respect to the latest deployment for the Azure Web App and I will show you how things works behind the scenes. So come without delay, let's get started. All right, those who are aware of this web series, that's fine. If not, don't worry. If you go to github.com slash learn smart coding, you will see plenty of repository. One of the repository, if I go to repository, I'll show you, there'll be four web API repositories products user profile orders and cards and then followed by a web app which is the angular 17 project right 16 and 17 project basically now all what i'm going to show you is we will take this e-commerce app product repository this is built with dotnet 8 dotnet core 8 so all what i'm going to use is i'm going to set up something to make sure ci cd is automatically configured and whenever the ship push the code from here will be deployed to the Azure web app okay and I'll show you what Microsoft has restricted and what is uh, what are your options I have logged into my portal which is portal.azure.com here I have a plenty of resources right so if I, I have grouped all my of my resources to a particular resource group so if I go to e-commerce app you will see there will be a uh, four API and one web application so here we are going to talk about this one the product one so if i go to product right now if i just right click and go to this probably i've already deployed so it's there so i already deployed the code so that's why the product api is here but all what i'm going to show you is how you can set up ci cd using github repository and not only that what is restricted from the azure okay now microsoft has announced the basic authentication has been completely disabled for the uh, web app deployment which means you cannot right click from your visual studio and deploy you can go and see here you cannot deploy using ftp you cannot deploy using local git and all of those things it's not possible okay so which means we are left out with a, a proper deployment so how do we deploy if you go to this repository go to the deployment center to the left side i'm going to show you something right so if i choose github as my repository source i have already authenticated so it's already signed in if you guys have it not signed in just choose the account and sign in the moment you sign in the microsoft will be able to pull up all of your information for this organization i have plenty of repository basically i have like 40 plus so I'm going to filter and choose the product repository and I will choose main branch. Now, before I go further, one thing you wanted to see is here under this main branch, there is no code that talks about the workflow, right? See, you see, there's no workflow here, which will be created by the Azure now. Now, two things you have to understand here. Okay. The moment you choose all of those things based on the code, it is able to find out it's a .NET stack and its version is 8.0 in case when you do that even though your project is 8 if 8 is not shown here don't worry you can actually edit the workflow so i will show you that as well so don't worry right so right now the project is dotnet core 8 so the version is choose now here's the important thing authentication type you can choose basic or user assigned identity okay basic authentication means basically there will be a username and password which will be registered in the uh, settings of the github repository so it will use that username and password to uh, log in into the azure and deploy the code but if you choose this it will be it will not work okay because it's right now it is disabled and if you just click on preview files you know the good part is microsoft will uh, generate the yaml file the deployment file and it will show us okay basically if you see these steps involved here is to install the package and then build the project create a zip file here and then that will be the ci pipeline ci means continuous integration the code will be ready and built 
next is continuous deployment so you will see something called deploy and steps to deploy basically it will tell you like which server what version what is the credential from where this file has to be deployed that's it very simple right but here is the point don't choose that it won't work instead choose user assigned identity basically user assigned identity means uh, we have already seen uh, what are the concepts called service principles like user itself is a service principle or a system service principle is the system service principle means uh, something in the uh, identity in the azure where you will assign a role okay and the role will have a particular set of permissions to access the web app and that is what user assigned identity so i will choose user assigned identity and then the subscription and then i will create either i can choose the existing one or i can create a new one okay so i'm going to choose one of the existing one which is already there but actually you can create new as well okay so if you click here exactly same the only difference is instead of username and password here you will see client id client secret and the subscription details okay that's the difference now behind the scene azure will create everything so let's choose uh, one of the thing okay uh, it's it's uh, anyway it's the same so the moment i click on save see it is setting up the deployment okay let's understand what is this principle is it is setting up the deployment the trigger it triggered the progress and then it's go here i'm going to refresh here okay see the moment i come here it says 15 seconds ago something was pushed let me refresh and you can see something called dot github folder under, under that there's a workflow folder if you go inside you will see a yaml file the yaml file that you saw there has been updated here because we authorized azure portal to make some changes in our repository like i said you can actually come here click on edit in case dotnet 8 was not showing up and if your project is dotnet 8 you can come and change here 8.x if it is 3.1 which is not supported you can still put 3.1 but make sure this is all supported there right so this is what exactly we saw now few more interesting thing that you wanted to understand while the project is getting built okay we will talk about this secrets from where this is coming now let's go here let's go to workflow and see what happens to the workflow so go click on action and you can see the workflow got triggered currently the build is in progress see build is in progress once the build is ready the publish is happening artifacts the artifacts are ready then the deploy process will start so while it is doing what we have to understand so while it is doing let's understand few more things let's go to settings and under secrets and variables go to actions and you saw that client id subscription id tenant id these are the details these are the details that is kept in the secret for this particular repository under the settings right so when the yaml file is trying to uh, you know work it will refer the details from here so with these details it will be the github will be able to log in securely to the microsoft azure portal and deploy on behalf of us now let's go to action let's see what happens here it is still building so build is completed build is completed next is deployment see the deployment started so let's see what happens right so it's setting up the job in few seconds it will be deployed see you can clearly see it is it is checking the permission it is downloading the uh see login everything is happening see so everything is happening one by one see based on the details that is there in the settings it is pre-logging to azure it will try to log in using those credentials see pre-login is successful the artifacts download is happening it is it is downloading 35 percent so once the 20 100 percent is done you know the code is ready to log into the azure and deploy to the azure app web app see login is successful now deployment is in progress all right the job is completed which means both are green and this application will still work with the latest code that was deployed so we were able to set up this now we understood few things about the credentials in the github but behind the scene what's happening what is this identity so if you go to this repository right i mean the web app 
let's go here let's go to the e-commerce app and if i just uh, note it down you see this the three identities managed identities got created this was the one that we used it so let's go inside the identity that was created okay basically this is called a managed identity okay it's kind of a a person or it kind of a you know a delegated uh, resource which will act on behalf of us okay and if you go to the uh, iam which is the access control so what is this managed identity so basically this managed identity is something that was created by itself and it got assigned with a particular role so how do we check that role if you click on azure role assignment okay see the one that we used was smart card hub product dash api this is the resource name which is nothing but a web app for this resource name the role that was assigned was website contributor the same managed identity was also given permission for another api called orders api for that also same role so this one has access to these two resources for these two roles it is also possible to have a different resource here with a different role but because we just reuse this for two different things it is just showing up but if you go inside this website contributor role it will tell you what role it is and what access it has so if you don't understand by looking at here right you can actually look at the json json will tell you what this role is all about okay so in json right this is called like you can also create custom roles but basically this is the role definition so under permission you can see what what is allowed it is basically allowing to read the uh, source of application insights resource health under the web all of these things it majorly has only the read access so this one will be able to read our web app that's it it will be able to put our content there it won't be allowed to delete or do any other thing so this is called managed identity and using managed identity only these days azure is allowing basic authentication is completely disabled okay now this is what i followed for rest of the four apis there are four web apis for the cart wrestlers orders user profile i followed exactly same i was able to deploy all the four applications i hope you enjoyed this video if you have any questions do let me know in the comment section share this with your friends if you have not subscribed subscribe to my channel i'll see you in the next video guys thanks for watching if you found this video helpful please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more tech tutorials and don't forget to hit the bell icon to get notified when we post new videos if you have any questions or suggestions leave them in the comments below Happy coding.